Prince Rupert, Simshan Territory. At the Museum of Northern British Columbia, Willie White keeps alive a tradition that dates back centuries. For 25 years, he's been learning and practicing traditional weaving techniques of basketry, raven's tail, and chilcat. He started weaving at a seaweed camp because his aunt, Betty Sampson, told him to. At the time, he didn't see its significance. I was just a kid, you know, I was 22 years old. And you're out in the middle of the ocean and you're on an island and there's no electricity and there's nothing to do and when your aunt tells you to do something, you just do it. But soon he began to see its importance and the need to carry it on. Well, it just reminds the people of who they are and reminds them that they're Simshan and why Simshan culture is uh, important to us. Why are we significant people? This is our country, this is where we come from, this is our land, this is where we come from. It's all based on the land, eh? The land and the sea, depending on what pattern you're doing. The history of your people, where you come from, where you're going. We're still here, the patterns still exist. So you need to teach, that's how you keep your culture alive. This is who I am. This is my breath. And teaching it makes it even better because I get to see the pride in my students' eyes, right? I get to see the smile on their face when they've completed something that's so intense and so nerve-wracking to complete that they actually complete it, and then I get to see them smile and sit back and go, whew, you know, the look on their face, and, the, and then I get to see them dance it, and I get to see them use it and give it to their family, and. It's all about seeing it get danced. That's the whole reason we do what we do. Because when they dance, then you really understand that they come alive and what, what we're weaving them for. To catch the spirit of the people within them. They have power in these robes. There's a spiritual power behind them that brings them to life when you put them on. It's just like a mask. This piece has been danced in at least 20 potlatches and feasts. It's been used by chiefs, uh, lots of members of my family, by me, it's been around the world with me. I've danced it in New Zealand and Australia. When the dancers twirls and dances this and it catches the spirit of the people within it, you see how the black moves and catches the air? It's the movement, it brings it to life. It's the very essence of who I am as a person. It's my mission in life to ensure that when I'm gone, that my people continue to weave these traditional art forms.